Welcome back everyone, Dirk here. Today I wanted to talk about EDC, everyday carry, and just kind of explain and show what do I carry every day and why do I carry what I carry. So I'm just going to start off with what I carry today and kind of give some different examples. So really the first thing I carry is a wallet, right? We all have a wallet. Um, this is a tri hold wallet that I carry in my front pocket. Um, so I always have a wallet when I leave the house and I always carry this wallet because I don't change it. Um, also have my car keys. I have a focus ST that has the key fob and a push button start. And I've got a key to the house. So, Never leave the house without my wallet, my car keys. I also carry and have carried this small Victorinox Swiss Army knife. Uh, God, I gotta say 10 years or more. This specific one probably um, has a little, you know, bottle opener and a Phillips screwdriver, a tiny utility blade. And um, the thing I use probably the most out of this is the scissors. I mean, it's it, it, invaluable. You come up with so many ideas. And I use the, the hell out of the Phillips screwdriver. This one also has a uh, red LED. And the cool thing about it is it also has a pen. But over the years, the little clip to push the pen out uh, has broken off. So, um, but I have carried this little guy in my pocket for, you know, 10 plus years and it always has one of these. I think this is a photon, uh, led light. I bought a pack of these on Amazon for, you know, a pack of 10 for 15 bucks or something years ago. So when the battery runs out, I just grab another one out of the pack and off I go. So these are always a staple, right? Those those are the things that are, are constant every time I leave the house. What changes is the flashlight. So today I had my Big Knives and Deadwood Customs uh, collaboration flashlight that runs off of a 18350 battery. It's got a Dragon Driver. Uh, it's got different modes and different brightnesses. And it even has green uh, LEDs, high and low. Uh, so a great flashlight. So that's what I carried today. But I also will sometimes carry the FW3A. Again, this one has an 18650 battery. So it's got a bigger battery, even though it's in the, you know, basically the same size because the driver is different. Um, this one has turbo mode, you know, and again, I'm not here to review all of these items, but I do mix up the flashlight and I still love a triple A light. This is a little stream light. Um, triple A disappears in your pocket. I mean, this is just, this is fantastic. I actually have one of these in each of my laptop bags um, because it's just a great light. So the other thing I always have is a pen. Uh, my brother's gonna get a kick out of this one because uh, after 30 years of law enforcement, he never had the need for a tactical pen. Uh, he always had a, uh, he bought a case of Bic stick pens, I think it was, uh, that he used and he would just buy them by the case. Um, I carry this for the most part. This is my main carry pen, ZT. All titanium. I just love the, I love titanium. I love this pen because it's durable and I carry this in my back pocket. So when I'm sitting and whatnot, I know it's not going to have an issue. Um, but I will often like my flashlights. I'll change up my pens. I've got this, you know, type of pen, a Keras pen. I've got a DDR pen. I've got several different pens that I will mix up. And why do I pick which pen I carry? Because it kind of goes with what knife I'm carrying. Oftentimes, if I've got a pen that matches the knife in color, uh, then I may carry that 
pen, to go with that knife, to go with that outfit, to go with the socks, you know. I got a bit of a sock thing. Follow me on Instagram, you'll see my socks. Um, so I got the pen, and then I've got the knife. So today was the Dragon Lady Bodega from Todd Big Knives. Um, it's a fantastic knife. But the knife gets mixed up and changed up. So it may be a Benchmade. It could be um, a Damascus Medford Praetorian tea or tie. It could be the Field Marshal. You know, so I mix up the, the knives every day. I try to not carry the same knife multiple days in a row. Um, you know, could be the Chris Reeve. It, it just depends. There's always a different knife for the most part. Because I try not to do the same knife every day. How I pick the knife, today I was going to one of my offices. So I knew I wasn't going to get into any hard use stuff. Um, I have some friends there that are kind of into knives. And so I figured, well, I would show this one to them. Um, so the knife really depends on where am I going? What am I planning to do? Am I going to get into some hard use stuff? Then I may take the Praetorian TIG because it's got the thick blade. I can, you know, use this and do some prying. This one's pretty, you know, not beat up, but it's fairly well used. It's got some dings and dents in it already, so I don't worry about it. So I may take something like this. Um, if I'm going somewhere where there's a chance I might have my knife taken because I'm going into a non-permissive area, I may take the Griptilian um, or a lower end type knife because there's a chance I'm going to a sporting event or, you know, whatever, where it could get taken at a screening checkpoint. So the knife really depends. Who am I going to go see? Where am I going? And what do I plan on doing with the knife that at that time? So then the other thing I always have is I always have a watch. So today it was the uh, Casio MTG, which at some point I'll do a review on this one. This is just a fantastic um, solar sapphire crystal, um, world time, stopwatch, timer, alarms, you name it. This thing's got a lot going for it. Um, and it just feels comfortable and looks good on my wrist. So I always have a uh, watch with me also. I don't carry this coin around. I do have a coin, which I forgot to bring to the table. Um, I have a Marine Corps challenge coin that I, uh, that I will always carry with me too because you just never know. Um, but the watch, that gets mixed up also. You know, it could be, um, you know, a novelty watch. The Sharp Brothers novelty watch, Seven Sins watch. It could be the uh, ProTrack titanium with a lot of tech that has the the compass and the temperature and a barometer and altimeter and all that. It could be something like that. Um, you know, it could be the $24 Casio World Time. Um, you know, and anything in between. Again, it depends on where am I going? What am I doing? Who am I seeing? And what did I wear the day before? Because I want to make sure I wear a different watch today than I wore yesterday. So, um, but there's a reason why I carry everything. I use the flashlights so much every day. Amazingly, you, how often you use a flashlight. If you don't carry a flashlight today, grab yourself a Streamlight AAA off of Amazon for like 15 bucks. Carry it and see how often you use it a day. You will start to use a knife, a, a flashlight, multiple times a day if you start to carry one. A pen, I always have a use for a pen. Um, I, I use this, the scissors on this, more than anything else in the whole thing, probably. Um, but that's, you know, this was what I carried today. Legit what I carried today. Um, tomorrow, 
I, I'm not sure what I'm going to carry tomorrow because I kind of figure that out in the mornings. But, you know, I just wanted to take a, a little time to really show, you know, what do I carry every day and why do I carry it? Um, and I would love to hear down in the comments below, what do you guys carry? Is this overkill to you? Am I missing something that I should be carrying? Let me know in the comments below. This is kind of open discussion here to, you know, really understand what everybody is doing and how everybody does it differently. Because I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I've talked to some of my friends, so I know what some of them are carrying. But... You let me know, what are you guys carrying? What do you think I'm missing? And what do you think is ridiculous overkill out of a normal daily carry? So let me know in the comments below, I would appreciate it. And you guys have just a fantastic day. And uh, just think about what you're carrying and why. And uh, let me know, because I would love to hear. Thanks a lot guys, I greatly appreciate your time. And uh, we will see you on the next one.